This is a dream we've had since raising rabbits in suburbia. Chickens right outside our front door. We've never told the story of how we first came to raise chickens here on our homestead. And thank you to PTCom by Hater Temp for sponsoring this video and sending our chickens their favorite protein snack. They're generously sharing a discount code with all of you, but more on that later. We could have gotten birds in the mail, and at different times over the years we certainly have, but this batch of birds holds a special place in our hearts and time in our lives. Just months after leaving all that we knew behind us in the Houston suburbs, we brought this beautiful clutch home and got to learning about how this whole chicken and egg thing works out. For first timers, there were a lot of surprises. Like we didn't know that as long as hens come out of these eggs, it's likely they'll lay the same colored egg that they came out of. Did you know that chicks grow in the egg white and the yolk provides nourishment for the chick? Incubators. There are so many to choose from. We could pick this one up at our local tractor supply, so this is the one we went with. It holds like two dozen eggs and automatically rotates the chicks during the three weeks that it takes for them to grow and hatch. After a few days in the incubator, you can candle the egg by putting it under this light and confirm that there's actually a little life growing in there. This is hands-on homeschool right here because learning doesn't only happen in books and it's gonna take a lot of eggs to feed this family. All hands on deck, we filled the tray, filled the water to keep the perfect temperature, and in fact, I think I remember this machine needing some maintenance through the incubation to keep the humidity at the proper level. The shadow just moved. Oh, I just saw it, you guys. I saw it. Sure enough, right on time, in the middle of the night, the incubator was rocking, talking, and pipping. I wish I could have invited you over to hear not only the sounds from the incubator, but the sounds of children being in absolute awe over these chicks emerging. I think the cutest, most precious part of this whole process is when the chicks started to hatch, their cheeping sounds actually encouraged the other chickies to break out and hatch as well. Nature is incredible. No, I didn't think that they would be this fluffy so fast. We were on bird watch the entire day. He's getting out, he's getting out, he's getting out. Each time a chick broke out, there was a new color, a varied length and how long it took each one to hatch. And they emerged and dried with different timing too. It's hard to grow in that little shell and make your way into the world. Needless to say, this was like a miracle right in front of our eyes and each little peep was met with equal enthusiasm. The kids cheered every single chick into the world. Catching each stage of this process was remarkable. Just three weeks before, this little girl was barely forming. And here she is, whole and healthy. The new chicks can stay in the incubator for up to three days. Just before they hatch, the chicks absorb the egg yolk, which sustains their nutrition before they move to a brooder. With the magic of film, let me fast forward to these fully grown girls. These ladies love snacks, don't we all? Our favorite way to endear these hens and earn their trust is with a treat by hand. They'll follow us pretty much anywhere for these. These mealworms are shelf stable, the price is right, and they're packed with protein and fat, making our girls so happy. Mmm. This brand is PTCom by Hater Temp. They are high quality mealworms and help keep our egg production up. I love that resealable top because quite frankly, our storage shed is precarious, but you don't have to take our word for it. 
The beauty of Amazon is that you can just check out their reviews. And PTCom has given us an exclusive discount code to pass to you, our audience. Check out the link below. If you're a chicken-loving homestead, love your chickens with some mealworm treats. They'll thank you for it. This is the poor man's brooder box. It's just an off-brand Rubbermaid with a grid on top for air. Instead of a mama hen, we opted for this warming plate, and that keeps their body temperature regulated. If the chicks are cold, they cuddle under it just like they would a mother, and when they're warm, they step out to cool off. The baby chicks are kind of a hive mind. When one of them learns to go under the warming plate, they all follow suit. The same goes for eating and for drinking. We dip the beaks into water to teach them once, and then they all begin to drink and eat and stay warm with very little maintenance. The smell is a whole nother conversation. When I look back at these chicks, they represent so much new life, even for our brand new homesteading family at this time. Our kids were just so little and full of wonder. And as grown-ups, we had our eyes wide open in awe of this new life that we had ahead of us. Today, we still make room to pause and wonder. They're still teaching us so much. To be willing not to have all the answers, to observe how God's designed each of us with a role in mind, a compliment to one another. We get milk from our cow, the birds enjoy the abundance, and then the birds scratch and spread manure, actively assisting us in the soil's richness. And as a thank you for all of that, they share eggs daily and the cycle begins again. What a life. If you like this video, check out these other two chicken videos right here for you. And remember the link below for a discount on your chicken treats.